Hello everyone, welcome to Summer Reading Tales and Tales 2021, brought to you by the Perry County Public Library and me, Miss Jessie, the Children's Youth Services Librarian. Today we're going to make our very own squirrel feeder. And we're going to need a few things. We're going to need either a stick or a dowel rod. I just happen to get this. We're going to need at least three to six pieces of string, about two foot long. I'm just using yarn. We're going to need a knife that we use with adult supervision. Three to six apples. It depends on how many you want to make, but we got a medium sized apples, bird seed, and a nut butter of your choice. And just because I find it a little bit easier so I don't use the knife and I don't have to worry about cutting myself, I use a um, craft stick and this is going to help us smear our uh, nut butter. And you can either use a knife, you can use a spoon. I happen to have a cannoli roller. And this is what we're going to use to core our apple pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our apple and our knife. And we have a plate here. I'm going to make sure that, you know, we keep everything clean. And I'm going to cut the tip end of the apple off and set that to the side. And then just about a half an inch, I'm going to cut an apple slice. A little bit less than a half an inch. Now remember, we want to be very careful. And then I'm going to cut the very top off of my apple. So I'm going to set that to the side. Now to do this project, I do suggest, because I found this out earlier, if you want to use a paper towel and you want to pat your apples a little bit drier, it's going to help your nut butter to stick. So you can pat them dry and then we can take and core out the middle. I can see you. So we have our apples patted dry, we have our apples cut, we have them cored. Now we are going to take, and this is a very messy project, I have washed my hands several times during this project. We're going to take our smear of nut butter and just put it on the meaty part, not the peel of the apple, but the actual front part. And we're going to have some bird seed set to the side in a plate because it's much easier to do it in a plate. So we have our plate of bird seed. I'm going to even it out. There we go. I'm going to take this and I'm going to press down. We've got that covered. So while it's sitting on the bird seed, I'm going to take another smear of my nut butter. and coat the other side, just like we did the front side. And this is one of those projects you can just do over and over as long as you have the supplies. So we've got the back done, and I'm gonna press that down in. And that just makes everything stay. And like I said, I'll get, I'll get nut butter all over myself with this project. Look at this, I've got all over me, but it's okay, that's part of the fun. I'm gonna make sure you can still see the hole. And we're going to do this to all of our apples. Now our next step is getting our about two foot, two and a half foot piece of string. And what I like to do is at one end, about a hand width from the top, this is where I want to put my apple at. So I'm going to thread that through the hole that I made. And yes, it's going to be messy. And sometimes your little threads come apart. It depends on what type of string you're using. You see that? We've got that on there. I'm going to take this, loop it back around, and just push it back through. And pull it tight. Whoop! And we dropped it right back into the bird seed. 
but we're going to do this with all of our apple slices. I have one put together over here. We've got two. I've got my long bit string. I have another piece of apple. This is our bottom part. So I'm going to tie it. Um, so we're going to tie it kind of like we're tying our shoes. We're going to do a knot though. So this is what one looks like when we have three pieces on. And when we go to tie them to our dowel rod, I've got one, two pieces already tied. So I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to tie my very last one on. And I do that at the end. And I just tie it into a knot. We got to make sure we leave ourselves enough room. Sometimes it gets a little tight, but it'll be okay. And you can hang this up between branches. If you want to add an extra piece of string and tie it from here to here. And now you have your very own squirrel feeder for all your gray squirrels, your red squirrels, your flying squirrels, and even your ground squirrels. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make your very own DIY squirrel feeder.